after studying this module you shall be able to understand the addition of angular momenta for a multi electron system you will be able to know about the commutation relations of total or coupled angular momentum you will also learn about spin angular momentum as we have already seen that the total angular momentum is taken as sum of individual angular momentum and in our earlier module we found that the eigen values of lz component for the total angular momentum is denoted by capital m subscript capital j which is taken as sum of small m subscript j1 plus small m subscript j2 now we will find the possible values of total angular momentum quantum number capital j that arises from the addition of angular momenta with individual quantum numbers small j1 and small j2 let us consider a case where small j1 is 1 and small j2 is 2 that means mj1 can take up values minus 1 0 and plus 1 and mj2 can take up values minus 2 minus 1 0 plus 1 and plus 2 if we consider a system defined by quantum numbers j1 j2 mj1 mj2 then the total number of possible states is 15 corresponding to three states for mj1 and five states for mj2 however we have seen that the system can also be defined using quantum numbers small j1 small j2 capital j and capital mj now let us look how the 15 possible values of mj are obtained for mj as minus 1 there are five possibilities of mj2 and their combination results in five states corresponding to minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 and plus 1 for mj1 as 0 again mj2 gives five values and the corresponding values on addition are as Minus two, minus one, zero, plus one, and plus two. Likewise, for MJ one as plus one, there are five values for MJ two, and the combination gives the following results: minus one, zero, plus one, plus two, and plus three. Now, if we look at the values of MJ, we find that the values of MJ are obtained: three, two, one, zero, minus one, minus two, and minus three. Now, if we look at the values. or the following combinations of mj1 and mj2 we find that the value plus 3 occurs once the value plus 2 occurs twice the value plus 1 occurs thrice the value 0 occurs thrice the value minus 1 occurs thrice value minus 2 occurs twice and the value minus 3 appears only once now the highest value of mj is plus 3 so mj can take up value from minus capital j to plus capital j highest value of j is plus 3 which means that for j equals to plus 3 mj can range from minus 3 to plus 3 giving seven states corresponding to minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 now eliminating these values from the above combination table of mj1 and mj2 we find that now mj has highest value plus 2 where maximum value of j is plus 2 which means that for j equals to plus 2 mj can vary from minus 2 to plus 2 giving five states minus 2 minus 1 0 plus 1 plus 2 again eliminating this we find that the maximum value of mj is plus 1 corresponding to maximum value of capital j as 1 giving three states corresponding to minus 1 0 and 1 thus from this we find that for the individual angular momentum quantum numbers small j1 as 1 and small j2 as 2 the possible values of total angular momentum quantum number capital j are 3 2 and 1 now taking into consideration this case we can now generalize there are two small j plus 1 values of small m j1 ranging from minus small j1 to plus j1 and two j2 or two into small j2 plus 1 values for small m j2 ranging from minus small j2 to plus small j2 hence there are two small j1 plus 1 into two small j2 plus 2 possible states 
for the given values of J1 and J2. The highest value of small m J1 is small j1 and the highest value of small m j2 is j2. Now using this we can conclude that the maximum possible values of capital M j can be taken as sum of small m j1 plus small m j2 which is j1 plus j2. Since m j varies from minus j2 plus j, the maximum possible values of j must also be equal to sum of j1 plus j2. With this we define that j max can have value j1 plus j2. Now the next possible or highest value of mj becomes j1 plus j2 minus 1 which arises in two ways. Number 1 where mj1 is taken as j1 minus 1 and mj2 is taken as j2 and the other case where mj1 is taken as j1 and mj2 is taken as j2 minus 1. Now linear combination of these two states give one state with j equals to j1 plus j2 and one state with j equals to j1 plus j2 minus 1 corresponding to capital Mj as j1 plus j2 minus 1. Now continuing in this manner we find that the possible values of j are j1 plus j2 comma j1 plus j2 minus 1 and so on till j minimum where j minimum is the lowest possible value of capital J. Continuing in this manner we find that the possible values of j are j1 plus j2 comma j1 plus j2 minus 1 comma j1 plus j2 minus 2 till j minimum where j minimum is the lowest possible value of j. Now the last task over here is to find the lower limit j minimum that is j min. We know that for a particular value of capital J there are two capital J plus one capital MJ values. So there are two J plus one states corresponding to each value of J. Thus the total number of states for fixed J1 and J2 is found by summing the number of states to J1 for each J from J minimum to J maximum. So the total number of states can be taken as summation varying from j minimum to j max to j plus 1. This summation goes from j minimum to j maximum. Let us now consider that the lower limit for the sum is j equals to 0 and not j minimum. This implies that the sum terms for j values 0, 1, 2 till j minimum minus 1 must be subtracted from the total number of states possible. With this the equation modifies to summation j equals to 0 to j maximum 2j plus 1 minus summation j equals to 0 to j minimum minus 1 2j plus 1. From the mathematical summation rules we find that the expression or the equation for the number of states simplifies to the form j max square plus 2j max plus 1 minus j minimum square. Now replacing j max by j1 plus j2 we get the expression as j1 plus j2 whole square plus 2 into j1 plus j2 plus 1 minus j min square. This expression simplifies to the form j1 square plus j2 square plus 2 j1 j2 plus 2 j1 plus 2 j2 plus 1 minus j square minimum. Now equating the total values obtained using this expression and from the product of 2j1 plus 1 into 2j2 plus 1 we get the expression as 2j1 plus 1 into 2j2 plus 1 which becomes equal to 4j1 j2 plus 2j1 plus 2j2 plus 1. Now equating the number of states obtained using this expression and the states obtained from the subtraction of states defined with j value equals to 0 we get the expression as j1 square plus j2 square plus 2 j1 j2 plus 2 j1 plus 2 j2 plus 1 minus j min square equal to 4 j1 j2 plus 2 j1 plus 2 j2 plus 1. Cancelling the like terms on both sides the expression reduces to the form j1 square plus j2 square plus 2 j1 j2 minus j min square equals to 4 j1 j2. This on further simplification gives the value of j minimum as plus minus j1 minus j2. Now if j1 is equal to j2, j minimum becomes 0. However, if j1 is not equal to j2, then the value is obtained by the 
difference of J1 and J2. However, it is important to note over here that some values of J min will be negative and must be rejected as it is absurd. So J minimum value becomes equal to modulus J1 minus J2. So in all we conclude that the addition of two angular momenta characterized by the quantum numbers J1 and J2 result in total angular momentum whose quantum number capital J has the possible values maximum value is given by J1 plus J2 and the minimum value is given by modulus of J1 minus J2. Now with this we now switch to spin angular momentum. Spin is an intrinsic form of angular momentum carried by elementary particles. The existence of spin angular momentum is inferred from experiments where it has been observed that particles possess angular momentum that cannot be accounted for by orbital angular momentum alone. Spin is like a vector quantity as it has both magnitude and direction. But quantization makes this direction different from the direction of an ordinary vector. Since spin is an angular momentum, it satisfies the following commutation relations. The spin angular momentum components x, y and z do not commute with each other and the commutator for these is as the commutator for sx, sy is equal to iota h cross sz. The commutator for sy, sz is equal to iota h cross sx and the commutator for sz, sx is equal to iota h cross sy. Also in a manner similar to orbital angular momentum, the total spin angular momentum commutes with each of its component that is the commutator for s square sx is 0, s square sy is 0 and for s square and sz is 0. Also the eigenvalues obtained for orbital angular momentum in a similar manner are true for spin angular momentum and the spin eigenvalue equation becomes SZY equals to MS H cross Y and S square Y is equal to S into S plus 1 H cross square Y. That means for a given S value there are two S plus 1 possible states of MS possible. With this we can now summarize this module. We found that the eigenvalue equation for total angular momentum for a two electron system obeys the LZY equals to capital MJ H cross Y where capital MJ is the eigenvalue and it can take values from minus capital J to plus capital J and L square Y equals to capital J into capital J plus 1 H cross square Y where J can take up values 0, 1 by 2, 1, 3 by 2, 2 and so on. We found that capital MJ is equal to sum of small mj1 plus small mj2 and capital J can take up values from j1 plus j2 which is j max maximum value of j to j minimum which is defined by modulus of j1 minus j2. After this we started spin angular momentum. Uh, and we define that spin is an intrinsic form of angular momentum carried by elementary particles. Since spin is an angular momentum, it satisfies the same commutation relations which were obeyed by orbital angular momentum as well. In all, we have discussed the eigenvalues and eigenfunctions of angular momentum along with which we have further stated certain rules for addition of angular momenta.